So I was very anxious to, to attend this, this conference. Uh, many developing countries are facing what has been called premature deindustrialization. Uh, so at, at early stages of development, they're already experiencing decline in the share of manufacturing in their economy. Uh, and this is a pattern that's very different from the past, where countries that are currently rich grew rich during a period in which uh, manufacturing expanded uh, for a prolonged period in time. And in many developing countries, this is, uh, this is not happening. Um, and investigating what is causing this, um, what is driving it, is, is, is very important. And in, in we immediately started off uh, with several presentations looking into these, uh, these factors that are driving that. Uh, so that's, that's very interesting to attend. Uh, and to, to listen to and to, to think about. What is also very interesting is to think about how we should look at uh, industrialization. Uh, and during, uh, during this conference, we, we, we basically take an approach at industrialization that, that looks at it from different angles, whether, first of all, the industrialization is actually taking place in, in developing countries, and then second, what, what trends and patterns do we observe in these countries? Many scholars have been trained by thinking um, in terms of industrialization as comprising the manufacturing sector in an economy. And that used to be a fairly accurate characterization um, until about 20, 30 years ago. And increasingly that has become apparent that characterizing firms as manufacturing is, uh, is no longer sufficient. And a very prominent example is, is the US company Apple uh, that, that has a, a logo that would characterize it as, a, as an agriculture company, whereas most people would think, well, it's, it's a manufacturing company. Uh, but in fact, Apple doesn't have any factory itself. So it's considered to be a factory-less goods producing firm and in the national accounts of the US, it's actually classified as a services firm, as a wholesale firm. And that I think is a very good example that the traditional way of thinking about companies as belonging to manufacturing or not has become increasingly blurry, or at least we, we know less about, um, well, we, we increasingly know more about what they're doing, and, and what they're doing can be very different from how we would classify these firms. Uh, and in that sense, the Apple product is a smartphone, uh, but the activities that they're doing are mainly in the R&D, the design, the sales and marketing, which uh, we would classify as services activities. And in that sense, thinking differently about what companies actually are doing and looking at economies from that view, where we try to measure the type of activities that these countries are undertaking, is I think a very fruitful way forward in looking at, uh, at potential new ways of structural transformation taking place in developing countries. Right, so in developing countries, obviously, um, the, the, the type of activities that Apple does, uh, the R&D and the design, uh, seem to be uh, not, not fitting with their comparative advantage and with, uh, with, with their overall levels of development. But there are many other activities in, uh, in producing a product or in producing a service which developing countries can undertake. Uh, they can, for example, do uh, the back office activities, the accounting activities, um, um, all, all, all kinds of support services activities related to producing such a product. And these type of activities would not be classified in, in industry, uh, but would typically be classified in certain services sectors. Um, and perhaps growth and development will come from these type of activities being uh, conducted. At least this is, uh, this is a new way, a new approach of broadening of view of how potentially structural transformation can take place in developing countries. What we have just started is a, is a, is a, is a uh, joint project with the United Nations WIDER, uh, World Institute for Development Economics uh, uh, Research, where we aim to assess new forms of structural transformation, uh, precisely along the lines that I just described, um, where we 
try to take a broader look at what manufacturing entails, including also agro-industry agro activities and, and, and modern services activities, but also venturing in using occupation data for developing countries and by using those occupation data to inform us on the type of activities that are being conducted. Uh, so we aim to make use of very detailed census and survey, labor force survey data to examine the type of activities that these firms are undergoing and thereby having a new look at structural change um, taking place in these countries.